Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper, and today I'm talking about our mini bell peppers. Now, I'm a hothead. I love the peppers with some heat. Give me some jalapenos, some serranos. Ghosts are my all-time favorite. Love that stuff. However, there are reasons that a pepper that lacks capsaicin can be a good thing, too. Now, these are the mini bells, and just like a bell pepper, they're going to be a similar shape. They're just miniature. There are another sweet pepper, so they're not going to have the capsaicin, they're not going to bring the heat. And to get the same amount of quantity, there's going to be a lot more picking with the mini bells, but there are some reasons that we like them and that they work well for us. I'll give you a little look at some of these plants, and you'll see that they are really prolific. I mean, they put out a lot of these. I'm actually going to be bringing in a harvest today. I just thought I would take you guys along. So when they change color, is when I like to pick them. There's another nice big red one down here. And I mean, even if you look at this plant here, I just grabbed one off it. I'm grabbing another four off it. And there's going to be, oh yeah, just a ton of them that'll be coming in later. There's probably another 20 of them in there. If you look at this one, it's kind of tipping over, but it is absolutely covered. So I'm not sure what our original source for these was. I think we may have originally got them from Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company, rareseeds.com. We've been saving our own seeds and growing them for a number of years. And for me, they work out really well for a couple of reasons. Number one is we have a lot of children. Okay, we have six children right now. And for a nice tasty snack, if you give a kid a bell pepper or if you give an adult a bell pepper, a lot of people just aren't gonna eat a whole bell pepper. Not in one sitting, but if you give them one of these, they'll eat the whole thing. And the interesting thing is too, I'd almost bet in some instances, they would eat enough of these to be the equivalent of eating a whole bell pepper, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, if you have the slices, um, like on a veggie tray, some people could eat the equivalent too, but if you normally, if you just give them a whole pepper, they don't do that. So these guys, besides being prolific, they're really bite size and a great fun size for our family, especially when we're dealing with our children and uh, just getting them to eat healthy, getting them to eat all of something. And um, yeah, just having them, you know, run out here, pick a couple for a snack and then get on with their day. If you look at these three little ones here compared to those two bell peppers there, those bell peppers aren't even full size. So, you know, these can get quite a bit bigger, but yet they already dwarf these minis. So it's not about volume here, as far as the size. It could be about quantity, but there's definitely differences, and you're not gonna wind up with as much as a nice big old thick-walled full-size bell pepper, that's for sure. So here's a bit of that harvest I just brought in. You can see it is a wonderful display. Um, they will be your reds. They will be oranges. They can be yellow. And if you pick them, like the red ones, when they're just starting to turn, they almost look a chocolatey color. So one thing I'm a big encourager for people to do is to learn how to save your own seeds. A while ago they were non-essential in a lot of areas. That's a terrible tragedy and kind of a crime against humanity to say 
you can't buy seeds even though they're sitting on the shelf at the store, yet we won't let you buy them. To me, it's a dangerous situation to be in. So just part of having your own food security is not only growing your own food, but also saving your own seeds. What you want to do is make sure it gets fully mature. Sometimes I'll even select my favorite, you know, a couple of really nice looking ones from a really healthy plant that's putting out a lot of fruit, and I'll let them go like all the way till they're almost, you know, completely past being edible on the on the plant, where they either start to dry up at the stem or the skin and the flesh gets kind of all almost rotten, you know, where it just starts to dry up. It's going past where you'd ever harvest it and make sure to save the seeds from that. These guys here, I find the ones that we often eat, you know, just one of those peppers is gonna give you a whole ton of seeds where I could easily plant probably a hundred or more plants just from the seeds of one pepper. So it's a beautiful, beautiful thing to have that type of power in your hands where just because you grew one plant, you can potentially grow hundreds or thousands more. And if you save your own seeds, it's a good way to have something to barter, trade, share with your friends, potentially even, you know, sell, make an income, that type of stuff. So the mini bell, we like it because it's a nice small one. It works out well for our family. Um, it looks amazing, just like, you know, bell peppers do. They come in a nice variety of colors. They grow really well. They produce, like I said, just insane. I don't think I've gotten 100 peppers off one plant, but I've definitely gotten a lot, and probably upwards of 50, easy in a nice long growing season. And it's something that we find our children, as Monster Trucks showed you in the opening scene, really enjoy too. They will come out here, they'll pick them. You put these on the table, or have a little bowl in the fridge and they will just grab them when they want. They don't need um, dip. They don't need, you know, ranch dressing or something like that. They'll just gobble them up like this. So if you're not familiar with these, these are the mini bell peppers. They're a great one. We're going to save a ton of seeds this year. I may offer some up for sale too. I know a lot of seed sources are hard to uh, get stuff from right now. So if you guys would be interested in getting some seeds for something like this, leave a comment down below and we'll see if... Uh, We'll see if we save some extra and uh, offer them up in an Etsy shop or something like that. If you look here at the spacing of the plants too, a lot of them are about a foot apart on average. Some are a little closer, some are a little farther apart. But peppers are one of those plants that people say like to hold hands. So if the leaves of the different plants are touching, that's not going to be an issue. You can definitely get a lot of them in a small area. And even here I've probably got almost 200 peppers growing on just these plants. I did get them in late, so some of them are really small like that guy there, but they're definitely growing. We could have a couple more months of this growing season, so they definitely got room to do um, some amazing growth. And we're excited to be growing these once again. They're definitely gonna be a staple in our garden for years and years to come. I'll see you guys next time. Papa out.